Hi everyone, this is Chris from Sachem Public Library Studio Makerspace here to show you how to use the app called PhotoScan. So if you don't have it downloaded already, it is a product by Google and you can use it on an Android device or an Apple device. So I'm using it today on my iPhone to show you how to use it. And let's get started by going to the App Store and then searching, hitting search down here on the bottom and then search for Photo scan so you can do photo scan or photo scan by google photos and you'll see here it is photo scan now i already have it downloaded so it says open but if you haven't it, it will say get so i'm going to go ahead and hit if you hit get it will download uh, but mine is already installed so i will hit open and here you go here is the app so there's a couple of different things happening on the screen obviously you have uh, the main part of the screen where you're going to line your photo up but you also have on the bottom right hand side a preview of the last thing you've taken a scan of. The shutter button, which is that white button with the blue circle. Then just to the left of that, the thing that looks like a magic wand will do some auto um, tuning for you. And the last thing with the lightning bolt is anti-glare. If you hit it and turn it off, then it won't eliminate glare. But I do suggest keeping it on because it will eliminate any glare. So what I'm going to do is turn the phone and line up the photo. And then when it's all lined up, I'm going to hit the shutter button, which is that white button. Now, after I hit that, you're going to see these four white dots. What you're going to do is keep your device level and see the arrow in that middle circle. You're going to move it to that white dot, wait for the blue line to go all the way around, then go to the next one until you have all four done. Okay, the image is now captured, and now you see that that preview um, circle has changed to show the actual item. So here is the photo that we worked with. So you can see now it's actually a digital copy of that physical photo. So there's a couple of different things you can do here. One would be if you weren't, if you scanned it improperly and it didn't scan right, it's, it's on the sideways, you can hit rotate and you can rotate the image. Another thing you can do is adjust the corners. So let's say I wanted to limit this photo just to the car. I can take these dots and drag them over to crop out the rest of the image. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hit done. And you're going to allow PhotoScan to modify the photo. And there's the photo. So. Uh, in the upper right hand corner, there's three dots, and that's basically to either send feedback to Google or for help if you need trouble, if you're having some trouble with it. Or in the upper right hand corner, there's that square with the up arrow. That's the universal share function in Apple devices. So when you hit that, you can text it to any one of these people. We use any one of these services to uh, share the item. You can copy the item, or you can do all these other things. So we're not going to go over that in this video. Just letting you know that you can share it that way. So that's the simplicity of using this app. Now in the studio at the Sachem Library, we do have some scanners that can do a high resolution scan of your photos, which you can uh, book by appointment by calling the library at 631-588-5024, extension 230. Uh, but this is a great way to do stuff from home and to digitize your albums without having to come to the library. So. In that same breath, there's no way to edit the photos here in PhotoScan. So what I'm gonna do is go back out. And now we're going to go into the photo app that came with your device. So what you'll see is the photo that we scanned. And now we can actually edit it by hitting edit in the upper right, upper right hand corner. And now you'll see all of these different, let's move this over here. You can see all of these different things we can do. So if I hit auto, it's going to auto correct and you can actually manipulate that a little bit. Now each one of these circles does something to the photo. So here's exposure, I can make it brighter. Brilliance, I can lower the brilliance. Highlights allows me to give a little more highlight to it. I can give less or more shadow, give it more or less contrast. Same thing with brightness. 
black point, color saturation. So I can make it look almost black and white, or I can over saturate it. Give those colors some vibrance without oversaturating. Make it a little bit of a warmer photo. Tint will bring you either more towards a yellow green or a red. So I'll just keep tint in the middle. I can sharpen the image. I can give it more definition. And you can see how it gives more richness to the photo. And noise reduction is when you get a picture that seems grainy. Noise reduction will take the graininess out. Vignette is kind of cool because if you wanted to change the focus and kind of darken the edges or white out the edges, you can do that here too. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Now it's saving the photo with the changes. And you can now see a lot more detail to the photo. Now you can't necessarily read the license plate, but you can see that the interior was blue. It had seatbelts hanging alongside the side of the window. You can kind of see the rims. You can see the detail in the garage. You can see the leaves. You can even see that a shingle was replaced there in the garage. So what's great about digitizing your photos is not only is it that you're digitizing them, but you can actually pull out elements that you wouldn't ordinarily see in the photo. So what I'm gonna do is scan one more photo just to show you an example of that. So we're gonna go back to photo scan. And I have this picture here. Let's take this picture and follow the dots. Now we have the image. Now here's a great example. It's upside down. So we're going to give it a little rotate and another rotate. And now we are going to go out, go into my photos, and the photo pops up. And now we can do some fun stuff with this photo. So one thing as a we can do is hit the magic wand feature. And what's interesting is the couch is in focus and the subject, which is the dog, is not. So what's interesting to see is that, actually, we're going to cancel this. When we zoom in, we can see there was a piece of wood in that furniture that maybe you couldn't see before. You also see that there's a blemish in the photo, probably a scratch. And another thing you can see by zooming in is you can see that there are legs to a table there and there are sneakers there. Also, you can see the hanger from the dog's collar with its name tag on it. So there's so many different things you can do. You can zoom in to see what he's eating. So when you digitize photos, you can also pull out elements, which is kind of a fun thing to do too. So we'll do one more photo because I think it's kind of fun to do. We'll go back to photo scan. And we'll grab this one. Again, moving to the dots. And now we have this image. So there's a lot of things happening in this image. Uh, so we're going to go out of here. And we're going to go into my photos. And now we can manipulate this. So um, just to make it a little clearer, we're going to hit some edit. And we're going to do a little fixing. A little too bright. So, and sometimes you think making things brighter will help, but that's not always the case. Sometimes making things darker will help. And again, this is all trial and error.
It's also fun trying to match the colors with what your memory is of that particular area. Or thing that you actually had the picture of. Okay, so we're done kind of manipulating this. So there's a lot of stuff happening in this photo that you wouldn't be able to see just by looking at it. So if we actually zoom in, we can see that there are a bunch of different statues here. And again, it's still a grainy photo, but you get an idea. There's a VCR on top of the television. Looks like there's a pair of scissors on top of the VCR. That looks like Laurel and Hardy on the mantelpiece. Some crocheted dolls. You can see the pattern in the carpet. And you can see there's actually an ashtray on that end table and a remote control. Things you wouldn't have necessarily seen before. So that's really kind of a fun thing to do when you're digitizing photos as well, to find these elements and things that you wouldn't have seen before. Again, there's a picture of a bridge on the wall too. So you get to find all this cool stuff. So now the studio does have scanning uh, available once the studio is open again to the public. Uh, if you're interested to hear more about that or to learn more about PhotoScan, you can always call us in the studio at the Station Public Library at 631-588-5024, extension 230. Or you can use the live chat now link on our webpage at sachemlibrary.org to chat with one of the librarians. And that chat service is currently available from 10 a.m. To, to 8 p.m. during the week and uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day.